So interval notation is a way of taking a graph of a number line and writing the solution to it with just numbers. So if I go ahead and I have a graph that looks like this, 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. All right, so let's say I have so what you're looking at is both where does the graph start and where does the graph end. Whenever you have an open circle, use a parenthesis. And you can use either the beginning, if the open circle is at the beginning, or you can use the end parenthesis. Whenever you have an arrow, that means it's going towards infinity and infinity will always get a parenthesis at the end of it. What an open circle means is that the number itself is not included. So the way I would write this in interval notation would be parenthesis negative two. That's because I'm starting at negative two, not including negative two. I'm going all the way towards positive infinity, but not including it. So that would be positive infinity with a parenthesis. All right, so if I look at another one, same idea. I have an open circle. Anytime you have an open circle, that means you have a parenthesis. And this one though, this is going towards a very large negative sign. So when you're writing interval notation, always go from the smallest to the largest which the way the number line works, you're always going to be going in the same order of the number line. So because this is going towards negative infinity, I write that as negative infinity. And now my numbers are getting larger. Remember, negative infinities get parentheses always. And now I'm going towards a uh, three and that three is an open circle so that three would get a parenthesis as well. Now how would I write that with an inequality notation? Inequality means that I have my x value, my x value in this case is three, and I know that x value which is all of this, which is my entire number line, this is always less than three. All right, let's also now go back and look at two more graphs. How would you turn these into an inequality and into interval notation? So let's look at the top one that I have in blue. So here, my x value is 10, and that means every value on here is true for x. So I know that x is a greater than 10. And because this is a filled in piece, I know that it's greater than or equal to because 10 is allowed to make that as a true sta statement. Meaning that if I say 10, is equal to greater than or equal to 10, that would be true. Now, how do you turn that into an um, interval notation? Always go the same direction as the arrow. So I'm going from 10. Now, because this 10 is included, I put a bracket. I'm going towards positive infinity and positive infinity always gets a parenthesis. All right, the last one for this lesson, um, same idea, only this time I'm going from negative eight and I'm going less than, so that means all x values here would be true. So I say if I want to turn that into an inequality, it would be x is always less than or equal to negative uh, eight. And again, notice how the direction of the arrow and the direction of this arrow are always the same. T turning this into an interval notation, I always go from the smallest side to the largest. So the smallest side is over here going towards negative infinity. 
Again, negative infinity always gets a parenthesis. Then I'm going all the way up and I stop at eight. But because eight is included, it gets a bracket. 